Hello, everybody, and welcome back to the Banny Vats. Now, that intro is going to get worse and worse every time. I hope all of you do realize that. Um, let's play as a Polyon. It's been a while since we played as a Polyon. Um, what have we got to do with him? Let's check. We've got to do Boss Rush. Uh, we've got to do um, Dark Path, Mega Satan, Hush, Delirium. We've got a lot of stuff to do. Um, respawns all enemies enable you to farm rewards that spawn after beating the room. If you think you fight, you can re-roll the room into a shop. I mean, I guess. I guess we'll take it. See how that goes. I don't know. Is that gonna is that gonna be a good play? <laughs> I may have just completely busted uh busted a polyon right off the bat we might have to restart <laughs> whoopsie um but yeah i haven't really played a polyon too much with mods and i feel like it could be really good oh the skills the skills okay uh so yeah, I'm gonna restart because <laughs> I actually feel like that was that was a really terrible decision. I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna try and uh, instead stick with uh, some more default stuff. Something that I always forget: Apollyon starts with just god awful stats. He starts with lower than base damage and lower than base fire rate, which is really not good. Uh, so we're gonna have a little bit of trouble. Um, sort of dealing with things to start with here at least. I mean, there's a, there's a very clear reason that he's the way he is because, I mean, he's just very powerful. Uh, okay, so these enemies are uh, a little crazy. They can spawn all these flies and such, but we should be fine. It spawned a nubbin, but we can kill the nubbin. Good, good. X-ray vision. It's pretty good. It reveals secret rooms and lets us in, lets us in them for free. So I'm gonna I'm gonna bet that that's gonna reward us with a good amount of stuff. Uh, we'll take this as well, and I did see. Let's just suck that up. We we unfortunately got luck and range, not what we're really wanting, but that's what we got. Double soul heart to start is pretty nice. It is pretty nice. We do start with I think lower than average HP as a poly on here, so. I think that works out for us. Ooh, a very nice. Wasn't expecting that, but it's a it's a welcome surprise. Is there anything worthwhile here? I mean This is a cool room, I guess, but is there any reward for this? I can't tell. I really like this little thing with the enemies though. It's cool. This is cool. Okay, there is there is an item. I think we can make it across two. Yeah, we can. Cool. Okay, that's that's pretty interesting. I like that. I like the idea of that. Uh, we got an item as well. I would have loved to have just sucked the item of the broken onk. I mean, the, well, the normal onk really isn't that good for us, but I'll accept it nonetheless. Still. Don't really understand why those rooms exist, but maybe one day we'll find out. What we need really is we either need an item that's a really good stat up, or we need a good active item, or we need to suck up and get damage and fire rate. Sucking for the damage and fire rate is kind of the best way of success. My god, he even starts with lower speed. This 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 guy is he has a really trash start, a really trash start. I mean. Like I said, I understand why. The uh, the Void is pretty darn powerful, given the right options. Right now, we're not getting many of those. And unfortunately, our first uh, attempt at sucking something up gave us stats that relatively pointless. I'd probably say more than pointless. Oh, I'd love to be able to just... Uh, do you know what? But just for the fact that there's a chance that this has an enemy in it and we get a charge... We got a black out of it. I can't complain. I can't complain, but sadly, we're just gonna have to take it. Not great. Not great. We did get a black heart out of that, which is nice. But yeah, range really isn't what we're needing right now. 
Uh, but yeah, I kind of, I kind of, I'm surprised how little we've played Apollyon because I feel like Apollyon with mods could be really fun. Like some of the modded active items, I'm trying to think of some of them now that like being able to use two of them at once would be insane. There's definitely a few out there. We'll, uh, we'll hopefully come across a good few modded actives that'll uh, really be quite fun to come across. Angry Fly. Again, I'm going to suck that. We got fire rate and damage, so our uh, stats are now pretty decent. Uh, I do believe that with uh, the Ipecac mod, they have changed uh, Void to its old 4-room charge. It used to be 4-room charge when the game first came out, and they nerfed it to a 6-room charge. And I think they've rechanged it back to 4-room. I I tend to think that, that, that that's how it should be anyways, because, like, maybe... Maybe... Maybe, actually, maybe. Apollyon normally starts with default stats, but Ipecac is lowering its stats given the extra charges. That might be what's happening. I think Ipecac might be the thing that's changing Apollyon here. So, ooh, Rainbow Heart. Uh, yeah, that, that actually sounds very likely to be what's happening. Maybe he doesn't normally have the lowered stats, but with Ipecac and the changes to Void, it does. Because he definitely, he's a much more fun character to play when you have Void on the 4-room charge rather than the 6-room charge. Oh yes, I'm loving all these soul hearts we're getting right now. Making me very happy. Whoa there, turd boy. Whoa there. Whoa there, mine turdy fella. Got him. Excuse me. Yes, the snipe. Just gonna suck that up for more damage and more range. The stat that apparently the game thinks we desperately need. Another great thing about Apollyon, being able to get things that are over gaps and otherwise unobtainable. And then, uh, like, if rooms spawn with multiple items, you can suck them all up. Stuff like that. It's good. It's good. It's good. It's good. It's good. It's good. Uh, right. We don't need to go into our shop particularly. I think we'll just head this way. I'm going to go and see if we can get ourselves an extra charge before we go in there and do our boss, because I would like to be able to suck up whatever item we get given. Now, I do realize I am slightly putting myself behind the curve for uh, boss rush, but I think we can make up time later on. I think we'll still get, get the chance to go there. Um, I think doing our due diligence to try and get charges and things is probably going to be worth quite a lot. If only I could hit the shadow, dude. We got a lot of keys out of it. In fact, we, the, the amount of keys we got, I'm probably just going to go to our um, go to our shop here. Actually, no, because we're going to get a charge. I was going to say buy a battery. But we're going to get the last tick of charge we need from fighting the boss itself. I always forget that. I always forget that. So that's going to be useful. Uh, this guy, unfortunately, is probably going to be pro quite problematic. I don't think we have enough damage to kill the head. Oh, we do. We do. Okay. Wouldn't problematic at all, then. This guy's really a big problem if you don't have enough damage to kill the head. When you do, though, it's really, really good, and it allows you to uh, do a lot of damage to him very easily and take out the spiders before they become a problem. Probably want to get rid of that. We've got enough of that. Not a great haul there. We did indeed lose a heart as well, so we'll take that. That's giving us some luck and some speed. The speed is relevant. The luck, meh. Not yet. I think once you get over three luck, that's when it starts to become noticeable. But for right now, not that big of a deal. Extra pennies. We're getting a lot of money at the minute. I'm definitely happy about that. Being able to get into the shop. Whoa, that champion almost touched me. But luckily his spawning animation was uh, a little longer than I had thought. Kind of, it saved us a little bit there. We do also have a respawn. Oh, yeah, that's the Ong, isn't it? This is a really terrible room. These are very cool enemies, by the way. I absolutely love them, but that, that, that room is difficult. Fat bats are always kind of a centerpiece of a room. When, when you go into a room and you see a fat bat, you kind of know that it's going to be a difficult room to deal with. I mean, when it's like this, when it's just two fat bats, they're fine because they're really not that aggressive or anything. The problem comes when you're having to deal with fat bats and... A lot of other things at the same time because it becomes really really difficult to sort of manage your space and sort of keep them segmented and into their own corners i am gonna go in here we did lose a little bit of hp there we're, on, we're not on great hp right now dull razor is dull razor something we want to suck i'm gonna roll for a little bit better i do like the cactus i do think the cactus is pretty fun 
Uh, being able to spawn a pill each time. I'm going to keep rolling, though. I really want a good active. Um, don't know how this will work, but I'm going to try it. Okay. That sucked up and gave us shot speed. I'm having a feeling that might not have worked or done anything. We'll find out. So my, my kind of idea of how this will work is we'll still gain the flies and then on use of our active it'll spawn however many flies that we have available. I'm hoping that's how it works. That would that would be great. I kind of have a feeling that it won't be how it works. Maybe wondering why I didn't suck up a little haunt. It's because little haunt's a cutie and I think he's pretty good. The damage he does is actually pretty nice so I'm glad to have him. Don't know why these guys are uh, so docile right now but makes for easy killing for us. Also, I don't quite know why a turd guy spawned that little that little thing there. Dude, come on. Come on. Oh, running around like a madman. Like a madman. So, yeah, we'll have to see if this, uh, if this void play works to our benefit or was a complete waste of money. It's very possible it was a complete waste of money. Wow, that, that kind of worked. We are hemorrhaging HP right now, though. Major problem for us. We went from like three soul hearts up to one soul heart up, so not good. We'll keep her going though. Oh my god, these these things are really difficult compared to the normal ones. Ooh, yes, please. Krampus's horn is very good. Okay. Thank you, thank you. Okay, luckily I knew these guys were going to spawn because of that green pit that was below him. Green uh, creep, sorry, not pit. Okay, check this. Pretty tempting. I think we'll go for it. It's going to give us um, a not inconsequential amount of money. Hopefully. Hopefully an item. Oh, actually, we're definitely going to get an item. I didn't realize there's a, an item chest right there. Soul Heart, definitely in need of that right now. And the item, Joyful. Uh, we're, we're just going to suck that because, I, as I said in the last episode, we got Joyful. It's really not that good. Uh, there's, I very rarely see many rooms, apart from like Mega Satan or some of the final bosses, where I'll be taking more than three hits in a room. Dub while double damage is nice. Do you know what would have been good? Or at least somewhat good. Is if we'd have taken Dull Razor, and that would have taken one hit off of the trigger and required us to only be hit twice. Which I can imagine being soft synergy. I can't believe that guy hit me twice. Another golden key. Um, do you know what? I'll I'll blow this up anyways because we might as well get a key piece. I'm not gonna suck it either. I mean, it's oh my god. I'm taking some really dumb damage right now. I think it's just because our stats are still pretty subpar for where we are in the game right now. I still feel like we're we're pretty heavily missing out on some sort of big damage dealer, like a tears um, up, or even just I mean I mean Great, that one just had nothing in it, so that's fun. Wow, this is this one's paying out a lot. <laughs> Finally. I'm not exactly sure what the sage thing did. I didn't read it fully. I just know that it shoots tears. I think maybe when we get hit, it starts to fire less or does less damage or something like that. Seems pretty good for now, though. Seems pretty comparable to a fate's reward sort of damage level. I really don't want to get hit because I don't want it to teleport me out. I'm pretty sure now that I've activated that... Yeah, I thought so. I thought now that I'd activated it, it'd be gone. Which is a shame because we could have had the full key in one fell swoop there, which would have been awesome. Do the key pieces hold um, faith to them? They, they probably should.
But yeah, I think Sage is going to be pretty decent for us here, this little Sage dude. If that's what his name is. I think it is. But yeah, HP is bad right now. So Krampus' horn kind of worked out there in a way. It was kind of bad what it did, but it did work out. Dude, this enemy sucks butts. Just stop. This enemy is like the mini version of um, of Skolex. It just never stops moving, and while it's moving, you just can't. Okay, so Sage stopped fire. Oh no, when we get hit, it fires more. Awesome. Um, yeah, and when it when it just you can only hit it when it stops moving, so it becomes quite problematic. Um, what we're we doing up here? I need to find a heart, but I, I I'm pretty sure there's one about, but I can't for the life of me remember where. So let's just take a little jaunt, take a little trip. There we go. That'll do. I'm not going to bugger around too much more with this floor. But yeah, Angel Deal Chance is looking good. All that sort of jazz. Did we go to our shop this floor? Can't remember. I can't remember. Is it down this way, maybe? <gasps> there it is. It was one much closer than I thought. Either way, we're just going to head on. I don't know if we have been to our floor here. Wait, it's not firing double shot now. So it only fires the extra tiers for the room that you're currently in. So now Dull Razor really would have been a good idea. Dude. I'm attacking my little horn. I'm like, what the hell's going on here? And I realize I'm attacking my own little horn. Ugh. This boss is also an absolute pit in the ass. It's not even because of him. It's because of the enemies he spawns. The balls aren't even that bad. Good, good. Vegemite. We'll just take. So why is our shot speed going down on us using the active item? So Jar of Flies was completely useless. We found that out. Which is a shame. Maybe if I'd have stored some flies in it and then and then used it out, instantly losing my deal with the devil there is not good. Also, I'm very close to death. Hello there. Oh. You've got to be fucking with me. I'd love to get that right now. Ugh. I guess we'll take this. We need the health up anyways. So this is going to be just god-awful. You get it? God-awful? Because it's an angel? Oh my god. Oh my god. Okay, so we died. Um... We've kind of done a lot as Blue Baby. So this is kind of dumb. But I guess we'll carry on. I guess we'll carry on. So our stats are definitely a lot better now. Which is definitely what we could have used as a poly on there. Yeah, that was a shame. That was a real shame. Anemic definitely just want to... Actually, was that a tinted rock there? It was. Definitely want to just... Uh, Suck that bad boy up. I do not need that at all. Do not need it at all. Hey, Eternal Heart isn't as, as good on Blue Baby here, but it'll do. Key, we might as well take it. So, what do we need to do as you? Um, Dark Path. Missing Dark Path on a lot of people. Oh, that was an all stats up. Why? That was like... That gave us loads of different stats. I have absolutely no idea what caused that, but... I ain't gonna complain, I'll tell you that. I fire it so good now. Penny! Pennies! Key boy. We don't even need the keys, but, like, we might as well kill him if we can. We're not going to get him, are we? Nah. He was too fast for me. Too fast. Okay, our damage is, like, ace right now. Damage is very good. Do we, have we done Mega Satan? We haven't even done Mega Satan, so technically this could end up being a Mega Satan Blue Baby run, which is... Kind of bizarre, considering how it started. Because we do have the Void still. Which is 
a massive benefit. I thought it would take away the void, considering it was the starting item, but it didn't. So we're in a really good spot for that. Now damage and fire rate is like just actually usable now for the floor that we're on. Really? I missed you? Are you kidding me? What you got for us? That is incredible. Because if both items suck, we get to double suck items, which is so useful. Double stat upgrades. Is very, very nice. More soul hearts as well. Keep them coming. Also, this boss, nice and easy. Definitely taking that. Pure damage. Pure damage. Right, so item room should be pretty darn effective for us now. Um, we can go in here, grab that. Come over here, grab that. We got a glitched card, which I, I'm always scared to use because it can be Suicide King. I'm pretty sure. Greed boy. Ow. Oh my god, we have so much HP. Uh, that's going to be the quarter. I'm just going to suck it. Damage. Love it. No scratch card for me. I'm not a gambling man. Might take this, but... Oh, there's a hand. I heard the, I heard the noise. I knew it was coming and just decided not to even do anything with it. I don't know what happened there. Right, we should be fine here. Our damage is very good now. Very happy with that. Okay, oh my god, that guy drops things when he dies. But not always. <laughs> okay, the, the fear here is actually really nice. Thank you, little horn. You're doing God's work. Okay, I always hate these fires. This is a cool room design, but I'm scared. Chastity Belt, your body is a temple. I don't know. I have absolutely no idea what that means. Could you, like, get from off the pot so I can hit you? The fear is, like, making him just chill at the top of the screen there. So we've got ourselves the key piece, which is really nice. I hate that we're having to do this room again, because it's fucking... It's way too difficult. At first, I was like, this room's cool. Now I fucking hate it. <laughs> okay. We took a lot of damage there. Rerolls all pedestal items. Don't need that yet. Splits. I think this splits things, doesn't it? Plan C. Don't suck up plan C. No, 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 no. Don't suck up plan C. Uh, the black mallet. I have absolutely no idea what's going on. So unfortunately, I don't think there's any conceivable way that we can get the Black Mallet now because we got Plan C, which is one of the only items where sucking it is just, like, unbelievably bad. So that's unfortunate. There's a lot of items where sucking them's bad because they, like, teleport you out of rooms, but that one is quite literally death if we suck it, so... That's, that was a, an unfortunate event. Don't know what... The problem with not knowing these items is, I don't know if to suck them or not. I think I'm just going to suck it because it's more guaranteed. Like, I'm, I'm going to be safer if I just suck it. It could be better if I don't. But it also could be so much worse. Fear the unknown. Right, we should be fine to kill all these guys. 
I'm just scared of my health right now. My health is not in a good way. Okay, a loan donation machine. Okay, so we have a significant problem here. A significant problem. So I just realized that I really just want to double suck our, active, uh, our uh, item room. But if it's an active that's really bad, we have it sucked up and there's nothing we can do about it. So it could be like, it could like be kamikaze or something. I think we gamble and just try it, even though I said earlier I'm not a gambling man, but now I am. Um, oh god, this is, this is not an easy room. This is not an easy room. Right, take you out, take you out. These, these things just fucking screaming all over the place. Calm yourself, fool. How are you not dead? Okay, got that. I think we placed some bombs around here to try and get some black hearts. We got a Degas. That's the soul heart. And now we can see our items. Yay! This helps. Dude. AOL sponsor trapdoor. How does this work? Turns your red hearts into soul hearts at 1-2 ratio. Okay, so it just grants a soul heart otherwise. Nice. The soul is awesome. We have to take the soul. As much as I want to double suck, the soul is so important. So let's get going. Yeah, the soul kind of saves us. I still think there is absolutely no way for us to take that weird hammer item, which I'm upset about. I have no idea what it really does, but it makes our tears into numbers, and it seems cool. I would have liked it. Of course, these guys can be a pain in the ass. Shouldn't be too bad once we get one done, and that is done now. It's always just whatever brimstone he decides to do. Sometimes he opens up and fires tears. Sometimes he opens up and fires brimstone. You never really know. So we're getting the meat. Do we take meat? Nothing in here. I think it's actually a higher chance we get better stats from sucking it. Of course, it didn't work out. But the, the damage up is so minor that we'd have had a better chance of getting tier rate or damage off of sucking it. We didn't manage that, but I think that's fine. Anyways, and honestly, I was, as I was saying before, once your luck gets to like three, it starts to get really good, and we've got five luck now, so... Certain items are going to be triggered more often. Um, we'll do that. Oh, that doesn't help. There's no mapping on this floor. Um, yeah, certain items are going to get triggered more often and things like that. Never really understood why the donkey's jawbone is an item. And not just a con like a throwable. Don't know how I didn't get hit there, but we won't question that. Don't know why you're brimstoning there, but we won't question that either. I do love the way he just like fucking smacks his ass onto his children and is like, I spawned you, but now you're dead. It's a little distracting having that massive text beside there, but we're getting through it. It's fine. So let's have a read. Uh, add Donkey's Jawbone to your pocket. Um, Donkey's Jawbone can be thrown as a projectile to damage enemies. When it hits something, pick it back up and throw it again. Like, like why? I, 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 I just why is it an item? I don't, I don't get it. I don't get why it's an item. It doesn't need to be an item. Just make it something you can find, like a card. And make it into basically just a weak chaos card that doesn't kill everything, but you can still throw it and hurt enemies. I don't understand why it's in item chests. It makes no darn sense to me. So I'm not picking that up. I've got cards I want to hold in that slot. We just need, like, a really good active item now to use. We still haven't found that yet. 
We've still just been using it to suck things up. We can get a really, really good active item. Especially one, one that generates HP is like the dream. And I think that's why, um, I think that's why Void got nerfed. Because using it on items that give HP was so powerful. Having a four room charge on Satanic Bible, plus the nail, plus the Book of Revelations, all at once. It was, it was crazy. Hey, that's nice. We'll take that. So what's this? Soul hearts also heal for an additional red heart. We're just sucking both of these up. Sadly, we didn't get any good stats at all there. Uh, but neither of those did anything for us, really. Hey, soul heart. Nope. Give me that card back. I hate that little period of where you pick up a pill and it stops you from picking up anything else. Or pick up anything. Then again, I do like it for certain situations, but it is annoying when it happens. You don't want it to. Uh, we'll take this, because this is always good. Um, I'm going to reroll to see if we get any good actives. Fully restores health. I mean, that doesn't work with soul hearts, does it? So, Champion belt. Ooh, I'd like that. I'd like that a lot. If we get enough of that, that'd be tickety-boo. Hey, hey, hey. We got enough for it. Champion belt. I I've, I've never actually noticed how much it increases the amount of uh, champions. But it's, it seems like it's almost always worth taking. I never noticed a drastic increase in the amount of champions, put it that way. Ooh, nice. Full health. Uh, spawns a trap door. We'll just use it here in case it gives us a black market. And it did. Well, it might not be a black market. It'll be a crawl space, at least. Oh, dip. Right, first of all, come up this way. I don't know what that other trinket is. Books have their charge reduced by two. That's amazing. Having flight here is really useful. But cancer is awesome. And that's the only time I'll ever say that. What's down here? It is a black market. It's a shit one. It's a really shit one. I'll say that. It's not a good black market at all. Not, not even anything to buy in here. Ah, oh, I didn't even get him. Um, literally the only thing we have in abundance is keys, and there's no key beggar. Play you once. You gave me some flies. Time for you to die. So, is there? Wait a minute. Is there anything up here? No. Oh, we could have just cheated that. I didn't realize. Okay, that was really useful. Getting getting uh, the cancer trinket is very valuable. Because it does break tier 8 cap, as you may have just seen. And that, that's going to up our DPS by a whole hell of a lot. Whole hell of a lot. Our deeps are getting high. Our deeps are getting high. Got an angel deal. So, we need to do Dark Path, so we might as well take Dark Path anyways. Ooh, okay. Uh, plus one faith. Chance for soul hearts when enemies die. Without contest. Too good. Sadly, we don't have a charge ready for this. Let's head down. That's really good. And we can just skip this floor and get a stat boost going into the boss room with the Emperor card that we have right here. We'll check this first. The Pretty big stat boost as well. Six damage up. Ow. But chance for soul hearts and things dying is great. Yeah. Okay, so that minus two damage, but all of our damage ups have been times by 1.5. So it's netted us with a lot more damage. Basically, it hurts you short term, helps you long term. It's kind of the opposite of that one we saw the other day. Where uh, it gives you 5 damage, but it makes your damage um, 0 0.7. So all your future damage ups are worse, but you get a lot of damage right now. This is the complete opposite of that. You lose damage right now, especially if you get it early. But it, in the long run, or if you get it late game, it's really powerful. They're the sort of items that I love. 
uh, items that are interesting, not like no matter when you get them, but they're situational. They're not always good. Right now, obviously, this is good. And most of the time, I do think I'll probably take that. As long as I've got one other damage up. But when I've got no damage up, it's probably something I won't take at all. An eternal heart. There's there's already the, the faith working out for us there and giving us that eternal heart on the kill. Also, if you didn't realize already, the soul is doing great stuff for us. Great stuff for us. We got ourselves uh, quite a few tears deflected there, which is pretty big. Pretty big. And our damage here has probably, I'd say, got to the point now where we're going to be relatively comfortable even if it doesn't change from now on. Uh, more so our DPS than our damage. If our tier rate was to lower in any way, I think that would hurt us, but... I think we're pretty good. Things that I'm sort of looking for now... Any damage negation, damage reduction, um, any way to generate more HP, all of those are kind of like top of the list. Because fire rate and damage don't really need it. A nice tier effect would be pretty good, considering right now we don't have any. I'm not going to take that Eternal Heart, because we already have one Eternal Heart. Although I will take it now. <laughs> um, oh, getting a phone call. One Memento Pop of Ore. Hello, hello. Alright. I have returned. I have no idea if that was long enough of a gap to cut, so I'll have to check when I get to editing. But, yes, let's carry on. What was I saying? Yeah, we're just looking for, like, an actual tier effect right now, because we don't have one. It's bizarre. This faith item is sick. I like loads of eternal hearts. Uh, Firestorm is always pretty good. We're not holding a card right now, so it's worth taking. Uh, we're going to be fighting, obviously, Mum's Heart next, so... Let's prepare for that. Uh, Chariot or the Devil. I think Firestorm's better, to be honest. Firestorm can hurt us, because it does obviously enable um, Fire Mind, but... Ooh, a Golden Heart. It's been so long since I've seen a Golden Heart. But yeah, these Eternal Hearts, we're just getting tons of them. We've not actually seen any Soul Hearts drop yet, but Eternal Hearts are dropping like crazy. This would be so overpowered if I wasn't Blue Baby. <laughs> oh, instantly hit there. Broke that. That's fine, though. But the Soul is so good on this fight. We can effectively stand still until the Brimstone. Of course, the Brimstone started straight away. We got another Golden Heart. Which immediately popped for some reason. Ah, uh, oh. Who the fuck thought that it was funny to make an angel room that just has a golden poop in it? Like, come on now. Like, deal the devils make sense because they're meant to be, like, tricksters and you're supposed to get, like, red chests and sometimes get fucked over by them. But angel deals, just a golden poop. Didn't even give a key piece. Oh, yeah, of course. I've got the full key, haven't I? What am I about? I was like, I'll suck that up, but I can't. Okay. Got to go down, haven't I? Yeah, down. I took the negative, so go down. I took the negative. Right. That jawburn keeps following me about. Oh, yes. Yeah, starvation. We saw how just terrible that item was last time. So that's getting sucked. Oh, my God. We got fire it. Okay, our damage just basically doubled. Uh, so, for those of you that kind of don't really know, with fire rate, your your damage kind of scales weirdly with fire rate. If you have really high fire rate and you get negative two off of it, it's like, well, whatever. But once you get down to like, maybe like, I think it's maybe like six or something, with every subsequent use, you basically double your damage output. It's really crazy. We don't need any of those, so let's just suck them all up and see what we get. That one's a sticky nickel. Let's uh, bomb that. Maybe it's not a sticky nickel. It is a sticky nickel. Blow up, dude. Okay. 
some weird interaction going on there. We got an item. Um, I think I'm going to suck that up, you know. We do not need the flight. Kill that thing. But yeah, we just basically doubled our damage in a huge way. In a huge way. You're taking Void off me. Don't think so, Sonny. I mean, we didn't really use Void for its intended use today. Uh, we, we, we did not really um, get any... Uh, Active items sucked up, to be honest, but honestly, it's worked out fine for us. Give us an item. No item. Did get a lot of battery charges, though, so if we get more items in this floor, we can do stuff. I need to be really careful that I don't accidentally walk into that dude, because losing our void here, it would be problematic. It would be terrible. Okay, we just got speed there, so not great. Yeah, it wouldn't, it wouldn't be terrible, because we've kind of got the usage we need to get out of it. Now we're just playing like normal, but I still would like to have it. With a few different enemies that we can come across and bosses that we can come across that can drop items. And of course, next floor, we're going to get a lot of items too. We are, gonna, of course, going to do the lamb. And there's one there. We're, of course, going to do the lamb. Um, and, uh, yeah. Ooh, big, wall, big old wall of these boys. Uh, do, yeah, we're going to do the lamb before we do Mega Satan. But we're going to do Mega Satan as well. This should be a pretty good Blue Baby run. Like, surprisingly so, considering we didn't start as Blue Baby. I wasn't really expecting this to be... A blue baby centric run, but that's how it worked out, and I'm I'm very happy with it, honestly. Oh my god. Okay. That flash is blinding. Why does it do that? Get the eternal heart here. It's gonna brimstone. Didn't even give him the chance. So again, Soul is gonna be really, really good here. Uh the hand attack that he does, that one, is pretty slow. In this next phase here. I've always thought that normal Satan. Like of course, when I first started playing, I, I thought he was harder, but I've never really thought, thought of him as that hard of a boss. Like, this second phase especially is, like, he's got, he's just got really low HP. I'm very glad that didn't suck me up there, because I definitely don't want to go down there. I don't know if we've done Delirium as Blue Baby. I think we might have done, actually. Thinking about it, I think we might have done. Yeah, we have. Oh, okay. Um... Can you stop with the troll bombs, please? Um, plus four luck whilst holding. On use, will either spawn a collectible or three spiders based on luck. Minus luck per use. A collectible. What's a collectible? Let's try it out. Okay, we got spiders. I don't really care about the minus luck considering how much luck we have. And we also don't really need that anymore. Excuse me? Excuse me? We just took damage for- oh my god. <coughs> I do apologize. We're on really low HP here. <clears throat> I haven't really been paying attention to that. <clears throat> oh my god, my throat. What has happened? Okay, so, so it said golden hearts, not soul hearts, I think. I think that's what's going on here. Kind of wish it wasn't spawning golden hearts, but then again, it does balance it. If it was just spawning eternal hearts, it'd be crazy OP. Really? Spawn me at the other side of this room. Oh, what? Telefragged? Or what? We should get enough health back here, though. As long as we play safe, play careful. Ooh, okay. Um, damage multiply for the room. Speed multiply for the room. Two times size multiply for the room. Let's use this again. We got spiders again. That seems useful to take into the boss fight with us. This is a really, really problematic room. All it takes is a few brimstones that, are, that collide in weird ways, and we are in a sticky situation. Should be okay, though. Okay, good, good. Increase health and damage of every friendly charmed monster. Gives a chance to charm a random monster when you enter the room. We'll take it. Just like some more HP right now, to be honest. Fast bombs. Probably should, like, be voiding a lot of these. Can void give you HP? Oh, no, we're dead. We're not, we're not dead, but we're taking a lot of damage here. Although, it doesn't matter because the amount of spiders we just got just gave us a metric function of eternal hearts.
So, can you stop giving me fucking spiders? I think we're gonna... We're gonna go and get Void. And just start charging this up rather than messing around with that box. It seems cool, but it's not working out for us, is it? I'd rather stick with what we know. Play it safe. Get the stats we need. Because if we could get fire rate again, that would be ludicrous. Oh, this, this room just shouldn't exist. <laughs> Thank God it went okay, but that room, that room can suck a butt. No, thank you. Definitely don't suck that up. Ow. We have a lot of money now. Not that we need it for anything, but I suppose we could find an item. Oh, God, it's itch. Oh, we could find an item that we can use that with at some point. Take out the spawns. Take out you, fellow. I did see a secret room here briefly. Nothing good. I'm actually going to take that. That's actually pretty decent. Okay, let's head our way back. Over. Okay, we, we skipped some rooms here so we couldn't head away directly back. Gives half a soul heart each time you use a card or rune. That's really cool, but currently does nothing for us. Fruit cake. Oh my god, I love fruit cake so much. It's such a dangerous item, but my god, do I love it. I will take it every time. It ups your damage by so much. It does up your risk by a small amount as well, though. Right, let's fight the lamb. Lamb really shouldn't be too hard for us here at all. Just play cautiously. The soul should help us out here. You're just telefragging me. You're trying to, at least. Can, can you stop that, please? Wow, a brimstone. Hello. You're not taking a lot of damage here, dude. Could you take more damage, please? Nope. Take the black heart. Do this. No, I accidentally took one of the pennies. I really love these void chests. They're so cool. A locust of war. No, thank you. Right, so let's go and do some extra rooms here because we can survive it, I think. Nice. Oh my god, how did I not get hit by that rock wave then? And this is what we're looking for. Extra soul hearts. Emperor. Abyss. Don't need any of that, I don't think. We could play on the machine for a while to see if we can get a bunch of soul hearts, but I'm not going to do that. Could you let me go in this one room, please? Shovel. Doesn't that... Wait a minute. Doesn't that just give us an item? Oh, god damn it. Let us get to the heckin' room. Now it's switch places. <laughs> Great. Great stuff. We'll head our way back. Oh, that's a thingy now. We definitely want to take that Goliath thing in with us. We should be fine here, though. We've got enough HP, I think. And enough damage, especially. Oh, the teleporting around is so infuriating. Especially the, the fact that it's moving rooms, so we're going to have to spend ages finding that Goliath potion now, you know. Ages. So I think the dummies might be better, maybe? Just getting um, Herming for that room. Could make things better for us. Would have loved to have avoided that, and then I opened the chest and got the D100. That's great. Right, let's shop around for this Goliath potion wherever it's buggered off to. This is just tedious and horrible. Where the hell have you put my Goliath potion, dude? Where is it? It's just absolutely gone. <laughs> 
This is so dumb. Where is it? So wait a minute, does does this still work? That did a thing. Definitely don't want that. See, this has to be it, right? What, what the fuck? Where has it gone? Where have you put it? <laughs> it's gone. I don't. I don't know where, but it's gone. Um, where's our boss fight? Oh, here it is. Okay, so let's go grab telepathy for dummies. Head on in. I was going to do Firestorm, but I don't even think we need Firestorm, really. We've got enough danger in Fruitcake right now. It's already going to be quite crazy, quite mad. Should be fine, should be fine. I've got to remember as well, as we're getting kills here, we're going to be getting some soul hearts and stuff back. This one especially. We should get quite a lot from this. Well, we got a lot of golden hearts, which is really not what we needed, but thank you, I guess. Thank you for scaring that dude as well. Great. Okay, these dudes are going away just fine. Ah, excuse me, with the bombs. The amount of golden hearts. Not what we need. The Black Angel, the Dark Angel. And the next one. Oh, what the fuck? I thought he was dead. <laughs> okay, and this should be second phase. Round about now. Next hand, second phase. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, and we got more than enough health here. Now we can bot Firestorm on because we're not going to be in radius. Oh no, you hit me. Think you're done? Yes, you're done. Great, we got like loads of unlocks for Blue Baby and I think we've completed his sheet with that? Let's have a look. Did we just complete Blue Baby's sheet without even selecting Blue Baby as a character? We did. Blue Baby is done, which is surprising. Uh, either way, I hope you guys did enjoy this one and I'll see you guys in the next one.